Hi, I'm Samir Jain. Let's examine a very hot, thorny topic today. How to deal with 12 million illeg illegal immigrants in, in the US without disrupting families, local businesses, or putting them on the path for citizenship. So approaching it from a purely economic and not a, a humanitarian uh, angle, if you permit me, uh, official development assistance is around $60 billion uh, globally, while remittances are around five times this amount, and they benefit the poor and recipient countries. So with my economists head on, a solution to the illegal uh, immigration problem in the US can be seen as a supply and demand issue, a black market wherein almost US $400 billion is being paid to illegal workers. One solution could be is to create a lower skilled, uh, maybe a two year temporary worker category program, uh, provide six months grace period for illegal uh, immigrants to join this uh, program. And I'm talking about forgiveness, not punishment. Uh, award a two-year temporary work permit and bring them within the formal economy. A one-time, non-punitive approach to, to regularize the situation. And subsequent permits can be issued through embassies abroad only. And also no permanent resident or uh, citizenship track should be offered. And at the same time, government uh, creates uh, blacklists of uh, uh, illegal workers and employers. And during this time, uh, the time that these guys are working, the employer deposits some percentage of their earnings in escrow accounts in their country, payable uh, upon return after two years. Likewise, uh, government withholds social security and Medicare taxes which are payable only when a worker retires in her country of origin. And to fund it, one can charge a fee to employers and workers for work permits. I think this may reduce uh, existing uh, illegal residents as well as lower enforcement uh, costs, social costs, and remove the under underground economy. It might even be more politically acceptable, I imagine. But of course, like all answers to a very complex problem, this approach has its pros and cons that someday we should get into. And of course, uh, approaching it uh, from a very rational economist's point of view, as I have attempted to do, is probably not the solution. But I, I just thought I would offer something out there. Thanks for listening in.